Hey guys, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about a day in the life of a coach and kind of what to expect on a day-to-day -day basis as a coach. Every single coach has a different life, so your life will be different than mine and how we're going to be working our businesses. Um, but to just give you an idea of how my day-to-day -day went when I was working full-time, we'll start there, um, I would wake up probably between the hour of five and six, because I worked at 9 um, a.m. at my full-time job. And I would wake up, I would do my workout, every workout's around 30 minutes. I would take a few pictures for my challenge group. And after my workout, I would drink my Shakeology and I would go straight to my challenge group. And I would log my workout, log you know how I was feeling, give them something motivational, a quote, or a, post a video, whatever I'm feeling or thinking at the moment, that's what I would go into my challenge groups and do. Um, but then I would shower, I would get ready for the day, and then I would take about 15 to 20 minutes, and I would go in and I would check my inbox. I would expand my network a bit, and I would reach out to new people and talk about their health and fitness goals and you know talk about their page and make new friends essentially is what I would do. So that's what I would do in the morning. I would make sure that I get my workout in, that I get my Shakeology in, that I check in with my groups. So all of that combined would probably be about 45 minutes and that is including my workouts. And then I would work you know, a nine to five and on my lunch break, I would take about 15 minutes and I would check in with my groups as well or if there's any questions. And then I would also do personal development. Personal development is a huge, huge component to a lot of coaches' success. It is diving into things that you need to work on or develop as just a human being. So we read different books like The Compound Effect, we read You Are a Badass, we read The Five Second Rule, anything that will just give us motivation and give us um, you know, that passion and desire to keep fueling our businesses and moving our personal health and fitness journeys forward. So that's what I do on my lunch breaks. And then after work, what I would do is I would spend time with family, I would have dinner, and then I would have about 15 to 20 minutes and I would go back and I would work on my business a little bit more. So what Beachbody has done, it's given us some tasks and duties to, if you do them, you do create success over time. So I just kind of have a list, I check it off, and then I get everything done in less than an hour. That's what I was doing when I was working a full-time job. So if you are nervous about time or how to manage everything, just know that if you you know sacrifice 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, that it actually can work. And if you just work from a list, it's just a lot easier to get through everything that you need to get through throughout the day. My life looks a little bit different now. Um, like I said, back in February, I was able to quit my full-time job. And so my life looks a little bit different. I'm you know, able to have a little bit more free time and to schedule my days accordingly. Um, but ultimately, I always kind of keep that list of everything that I need to accomplish. And as you start to grow your network and grow your business, then you'll start to put a little bit more time in. So when I was working full time on my Beachbody business, I was putting in maybe two to four hours a day and that's expanding my network. You know, I'm starting to build or starting to build a team. So I was helping them out and holding calls. So there's just so many different levels of this business. And if you go all in your task, list is going to look a little bit different than if you were to just put in 30 minutes to an hour a day on your business. So if you do work full time or if you're a stay at home mom or if you work part time and go to school, there are different ways that you can make this business work. And most people, I would say 90 to 95% of coaches out there, they do work full time jobs and they make this a priority. They sacrifice. I sacrifice TV and happy hours and my lunch time um, at work. Instead of socializing, I would go in my car or I would go to the cafeteria and I would just really be diligent on getting the things done that I need to get done. So it's definitely doable. 
Um, and that's just a little bit about how to incorporate your business into a full-time schedule. And I will say a lot of coaches, if over time you incorporate those 30, 40, 45 minutes into your business, over time it will compound and you'll start to create a business that is supporting you and is bringing you financial success. But you do have to work for it and you have to do it every single day. But ultimately, this isn't work. It's a lot of fun. I can't imagine watching three hours of TV anymore because those three hours I spend on my business and I spend on fueling my dreams and my passion for my future family. This way I can have that freedom and that flexibility with them in the future. So if you have any questions on this, please reach out to me, let me know. If not, thanks for watching.